Hello and welcome to String League Season 3. I'm your host, Connor Wilson from lacrosseallstars.com. This year we've got seven episodes planned. Each one is sponsored by a different lacrosse company. We're really excited that Style and Strings, Inside Lacrosse, East Coast Dyes, Throne Lacrosse, STX, Nike Lacrosse, and Adidas Lacrosse have all signed up to make this season the best ever. We're thrilled that Inside Lacrosse has stepped up and joined String League for season three. Kyle Devitt is gonna be handling all of the judging, the competition creation. He is a stringing maven. He's all about it. I love Kyle. We're really pumped to have these guys involved. The guys at IL are doing a great job. We're gonna throw it over to Kyle now. He's got a very interesting challenge for you guys to check out. It's IL-centric and it's a good one. What's up, everybody? My name is Kyle Devitt. I'm the gear and lifestyle editor for Inside the Cross, and we are super excited to join String League for season three. String is one of the most underrated aspects of lacrosse. It's one of the things that gets people into the sport, and materials matter. You know, if, if you're stringing a stick that only lasts for a couple weeks, what good is that? Restringing your stick every week isn't gonna help you. Consistency is key. We're really excited to bring you one of the most difficult contests in the history of String League, you have to string a playable pocket out of just an issue of Inside the Cross. First place, second place, and third place will all get a Instagram takeover on IL Gear, and the grand prize for first place will get a feature on InsideTheCross.com. Guys, this is our first season joining String League. We're really excited to see what you can come up with. We know this challenge is very hard, but we think you can pull it off. What's up, everybody? Kyle Dunn from Inside the Cross. We are here for season three of String League. Uh, our challenge is hard. It's very, very difficult, but uh, we think these six stringers came up with some really cool ideas. Uh, so let's go through them real quick. Number six, Chris and Mainly Mesh kind of took the L here. Uh, Self-imposed loss. Uh, he, he cut out the magazine and tried to attach it and keep it whole in the center. Didn't really work out for him, uh, so unfortunately we have to put him put him at six. Uh, number five, uh, Taylor lack smoke. Um, used sidewall on the side, so I kind of had to drop you down. It's not super creative. A lot of other guys did the weaving thing, but I think they attached it in more creative ways, and we weren't really supposed to use lacrosse materials for this challenge anyway. Number four, Phil Pierce, AKA Spawn of the Peepo. Uh, I like the origami style of this pocket and the thick rails. A lot of other people did thin rails. I just think it came out kind of like junky looking, a little, little junky on to it. Um, so we're gonna give him uh, the four spot. Number three, Richie B, AKA Richie Bennett. This is a nice pocket in terms of like functionality. I just don't think it's like, when, you, when we see two and one, you'll see like there's a clear difference between like a functional pocket and like a functional and pretty pocket. And I just don't think it's aesthetically pleasing to look at. I like the, I like the hustle. I like how you just use the magazine to tie everything together. I thought that was really cool, but I don't know. I, I, I just think that number two and one are a little bit better. Number two, Chris Dealey, uh, the wild card coming in strong with the two spot. Uh, I really love how he you know, basically created kind of almost a tracker pocket with his uh, two rails, a lot of interconnecting things. He used actually, we have these little subscription cards and he used one of those in the middle to give it a little more rigidity and have it be a smoother release. And you know, looks like a pocket from afar. They're like, oh, maybe someone's playing with it. Maybe it's a new pocket and it's just a magazine. So that's why it gets a two spot. Number one, Matt Simpson, AKA 955 Matt. I mean, hit the whole spirit of the challenge, right? Use a little decoupage here. The outside of the pocket is actually the cover. So when you turn the pocket over, you can see it's almost the cover of the magazine. And then the inside is actually just the writing from the articles. It's also got kind of nice little details. The back has actual words uh, and it looks like it holds a ball and you know can, can shoot a shot. So I'm really into it. And that's why I gotta give him the number one spot. Thanks again for checking out String League Season 3. This has been the IL Inside the Cross Challenge. Great job, everybody. Wow, great first week of competition. 
Let's check out the leaderboard to see where everybody stands.